Praise the Lord everyone, this is Jade. I wanted to make this video today to talk about the power of your words. I wanted to do this video because I feel it's a very, very important topic and we may not actually realize how powerful our words are. And Proverbs 18.21, okay, Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. Now, what exactly does this verse even mean? What God is saying is that God has given you the power in your tongue. Okay, so you have, you can use that power either to speak death or to speak life. Now, let me get this clear that God spoke everything into existence. He said, let there be light and there was light. He said, okay, the same way he has given us that authority to speak, to speak to our mountains. What did Jesus do? He spoke to the sickness. He spoke to the demon. He didn't pray. He said, he spoke. The same way, but the difference is Jesus used his power of his words to speak life. Now, what do I mean by speak life? He spoke life. He never called anyone dumb. He never said, you are, you know, you are not good enough. You are, you are not intelligent. You are not blessed. You are not anointed. He never said that. Instead, he always said, be healed. You are loved. You are blessed. I love you. He would always use, you know, if you look, if you read, if you look at all the things that are written about what Jesus said in the Bible, they are always very life-giving. They're very positive. They're very comforting. And that, that is because Jesus spoke life. Now, what is the difference between speaking life and speaking death? Obviously, when you speak life, it ministers grace to the hearer. When you speak life, it helps the hearer go, grow emotionally, spiritually. It plants a seed in them. It plants the seed of life in them. But when you speak death, you are speaking negative and you're speaking defeat over their life. You can speak death over someone and over yourself as well. For example, I used to speak death over myself. I used to speak death when I used to tell myself that I couldn't do something. For example, in school, I would get assessments, I would get tasks, I would get maths. And I would look at it and immediately I would say, I don't understand. I don't get it. I, I can't do it. Sir, can you please help me? See, there is nothing wrong in asking for help. But when you say you cannot do something, that means you're saying that Jesus can't help you. And can Jesus help you? Yes, definitely Jesus can help you. That was when I started speaking death. Now, when I speak death, I am planting the seed of death in my life. So whatever seed you plant, that is what's going to grow. If you plant, for example, a farmer, if he plants an apple seed, a banana tree is not going to grow. An apple, an apple tree is going to grow, right? The same way when you plant the seed of death in your life, the tree of death is going to grow and it is going to bear fruit that is death and defeat. But if instead you start planting the seeds of life inside of you as well in others, the tree of life is going to grow. And that is when change takes place in your life and in their life. For example, how would you feel if one day I came up to you and I said, you know what? I'm sorry, but you're just not capable of doing this. You can't. Look at yourself. Look at how bad your marks are. Look at the state of your life. You can't. You're dumb. Just just get with it. Go on. You know what? No one, not everyone is smart. Some people are just dumb. How are you going to feel? How are you going to feel about it? You're going to feel hurt. That is because I planted the seed of death. I used my power of words to speak death. But how would you feel if instead I came up to you saying, It's okay. You can do all things to Christ in you who strengthens you. Stop believing in yourself and start believing in Jesus. Because when you start believing in Jesus, God is our Jesus is the God of the impossible. There is nothing that is not possible with Jesus. If you rely on yourself, you will fail. But if you rely on Jesus, you I can guarantee you, you will not fail. How would you feel if I came up to you and I said, you are blessed. You are anointed. I love you. Jesus loves you. You are so smart, just like our Abba Father. You are smart. Do not say you're dumb because you are smart. Because God, our Father, is smart and we are made in His image. You see, that is going to make you feel encouraged. You're going to feel motivated. You're going to feel encouraged. You're going to feel God's love. So that is the difference when you speak life and instead of speaking death. When you speak death, you put the person down. You make them feel that they are less than something. But when you speak life, you make them feel motivated. They get encouraged. They feel loved. 
you should treat others you should speak to others the way you want them to speak to you if you want someone to be nice to you if you want someone to you know respect you to love you then you need to start respecting and loving others because you will need to start speaking life they need to start seeing jesus in you and when they start seeing jesus in you they're going to wonder what is the, what do what does he have what does he have what does she have that i don't why is she always so nice why is he always so kind that person can be mean to you but you need to show them love by speaking life do not speak death speak life proverbs 18:21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words so stop saying that you cannot do it stop calling your friend dumb stop calling your sibling annoying stop calling them that you know they're irritating me stop it you're so stupid stop saying that because you are planting the seed of death and when you plant the seed of death the tree of death is going to grow and the fruit of that tree is going to be death destruction and defeat but the word of god clearly says the power of life is on your tongue as well and if you love life and if you indulge it you will bear the consequences of your words and you will love it and you will eat its fruit it's the same way so stop telling your siblings they're going to be they're irritating like, you know what you're so irritating can you stop that's not going to help that's only going to make them more irritating because what you say will happen that is why you need when when if your siblings annoy you or if they're troubling you or if you don't like what they're doing you need to tell them nicely you speak life you have to say you say what you want stop seeing stop saying what you see that's what the world does we are believers we say what we want if you want your sibling to be respectful and kind to you you tell them that you say thank you thank you for example my brother's name is jeremiah so i'll use his name so if if jeremiah my brother is annoying me or if he's troubling me and if he's making me get angry remember anger doesn't come from god when when he is making me angry or he's irritating me and provoking me instead of saying stop it you are so you're making me angry you're so irritating go away and so saying that instead if i say jeremiah you are anointed you are blessed you are prosperous you are obedient like christ Thank you Jesus Jeremiah is an obedient son of God. Thank you Jesus Jeremiah is obedient like you. Thank you Jesus Jeremiah has the mind of Christ. That is when you start speaking life. When you start speaking life, you will see them you will see your sibling changing, you will see your friend changing, you will see your parents changing. Basically speaking life is like love. You are showing them love. Okay? So stop speaking death because when you speak death you and you keep telling yourself I'm dumb, I can't do it. You will not be able to do it. because you you you're planting that seed that you know that that incapability if you keep telling yourself you can't do it the tree is going to grow and you'll never be able to do it but start believing that you can do all things through Christ okay so start using that scripture that scripture is philippians 4:13 i can do all things through Christ who strengthens me every time you see something that is hard go on to lean lean on jesus believe in jesus trust in jesus take his word his word is alive and it's working it works every single day in my life without fail every day i see testimonies every day i see miracles happening and it is all because i have jesus you have jesus inside of you too all you have to do is believe start believing so stop saying you cannot do it stop telling your friend that they are dumb stop telling them that Just stop telling your sibling they're irritating, but instead tell yourself, "I can do all things through Christ in me who strengthens me." Tell your friend, tell your speak speak about them well. Don't speak bad about them. Tell them, "Thank you." Talk to God about them. Say, "Thank you, Jesus. My friend loves me. My friend is kind, is respectful." Same way, talk to your sibling. Say, "Thank you, Jesus. My sibling has the mind of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. My sibling is obedient, and he does not, or he or she does not annoy me." So stop speaking death. over your life and start planting the seeds of life in your life okay so do not speak death but speak life because that's what the word of god says and the word of god is always true 100% i have complete trust that it will work you will see the change happening in days forget days immediately when you start telling yourself you can do all things to christ your motivation is going to go up your self confidence is going to grow up go, go grow it's just going to grow and it's and it's absolutely amazing Now when I look at things I look at them I look at through the lens of the word 
before i used to look at my my maths my science my school work my family my friends through the lens of the world the world tells you that you know what one that's how people are they cannot change that's how the situation is going to be that's how life is life is hard but what does the word say the word says you can do all things to christ who strengthens you so stop leaning on yourself and lean on christ